Uh, lastly, we have understand uh, your Google My Business ranking and complete your profile. So completing your profile is fairly straightforward. Um, everything that can be filled out should be filled out. All of your categories, your hours, description, all that stuff. You can even build a little mini website in there. Um, um, but understanding your ranking is also important. Um, you know, Google My Business is a little bit different in that it's very location dependent. So if I did, we're in we're in a different part of town here in Nashville than where I live. But if I search for coffee shops in Nashville, I probably mm -hmm. wouldn't get the coffee shop that's like a mile from my house because mm -hmm. I'm several miles from my house right now. Um, so a good tool to use to figure out like where you're showing up for given keywords is local Viking. Um, you can pick up an account. It's like 20 bucks a month and it'll give you a map overlay. So you just feed it keywords and it'll show you in quadrants. It's like little square quadrants it'll show you where you're showing up for certain keywords. Hmm. So it's a really good way to like, um, it's sort of like your SEM rush, uh, spy cool. yeah. for Google, uh, Google, my business. I don't know exactly know how it accomplishes this, but, um, that'll give you kind of a sense of where you're struggling with certain keywords, certain service. It might, it might inform you if you have a certain service, that you're ranking really low for across the map, you might have forgotten to include that as a include that as a subservice in your profile. So you might oh, it could might uncover a problem like that. Yeah, um, and there's a ton of that in Google My Business. Your, your yeah, services, you can, your area focus. Yeah, yeah, you can do area focus. You can all do search. You can list um, lots of different services. Mm -hmm. So if you can think back to our example of like dermatologists, it might be you can list the, your main focus, but then like the separate services you provide, same thing with construction company, kitchen remodeling, mm -hmm. uh, bathroom remodeling, et cetera, decks, you know, whatever it is. And so it might, it might reveal some gaps for you. Um, so that's a good tool to use. So understanding where you're ranking, that's a good tool to have. And then, yeah, just complete your profile. We've done whole uh, episodes on Google My Business, but it's yeah. essentially, it, it boils down to something really simple, which is, if there's a field there, depending on what industry you're in, you're going to have different fields. So you're not going to have like, you know, reserve a table if you're a construction company, you know, right. but um, if there's a field there, if there's any way you can fill it out, fill it out. That's pretty simple. Um, yeah. So fill it out and then see where you're ranking. And then the most important part for Google is, is keeping it updated and generating reviews and responding reviews, which we've done other episodes on. But yeah. Yeah, yeah that's a good one. Yeah. Google My Business. Very, very key. Uh, great. Thanks, Chris. Uh, this has been a great episode. Uh, uh, five easy ways to get started with your SEO. Uh, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and uh, LinkedIn to receive alerts for new episodes and uh, drop your comments below. Uh, please subscribe and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks everybody.